Hi guys and welcome back. So today we have the B Fight 210. This is a five inch quadcopter from B Fight. It's I guess it's like a budget pre-built quadcopter. Um, it's in that market, so I guess it's going to be kind of competing with the Holybro Copus and maybe the Diatone a bit in a way, but not really. But I think it'd be like more of a contender towards the Eoshin Wizard and that kind of stuff. Um, I've flown it, so let's just quickly actually go over the specifications. I'm pretty sure all of you know the specs here. Um, I think what you guys really want to know is about the execution in here, how well it's built down here, and um, how it flies. I think that's the most important thing is how it flies and, and how it performs. So let's just quickly go over some of the specs. It's a 2205 uh, motors here. They're using 2300 kV. Uh, this is not a CCD camera. This is a CMOS camera. It's 16 by 9 so if you have 4x3 goggles, you're going to have terrible distortion like I did. Um, so if you have 4x3 uh, goggles such as a Fat Shark HD3 or something, uh, you're going to want to sort of replace this to be honest because it was very terrible. Um, I did have issues but on DVR you won't see it but when I was flying it was just completely whiting out every once in a while when I'm looking, you know, just transitioning from the floor to the sky. So that's something to take note of here. They do give you a pretty sweet propellers. They give you the Gemfan 5152. Uh, they're pretty good. I don't know how durable they are. I haven't really crashed that hard in it. But um, they're good. They're very... They have a lot of thrust just because of that huge angle on them. So that's very good. The execution of the motors into the flight control is pretty sweet. They've gone through the bottom. And they solder on pretty well. So that's, that's a big plus here. Uh, the overall execution actually inside is pretty sweet as well. They put This is the FR Sky version. Uh, the inside is pretty sweet. They, they stuck the receiver right there. The VTX is up here. However, if you do get the FR Sky version, you need to take note of something. Uh, once you bind it and you find it, whatever you do, it's just not... It's binding, actually, but you won't see it do anything in the receiver's tab. Is because there is... On the flight controller in the front, there's two S-Bus pads. And one is going to the, the VTX up here. And the other one is going to your receiver down there, right there. Uh, what you want to do is is actually remove possibly the whole VTX. What I did, I just cut the wire, the S bus that's going to here, because I guess on channel six you could change the VTX uh, channel. So I, I really don't want that. I really don't care about that. So I just I just cut that off and then everything worked perfect. So that's something very important to take note of. All right. So let's just move up the stack. It does have OSD and I believe it's, it is an F3 flight controller. So it's an Omnibus Pro, some kind of generic one that they've done for themselves. So it's it's a good flight controller. Um, for the VTX, they have MMCX, I believe they're called, connector types. So these are pretty good. They're very durable. They won't um, go just retarded on you, so that's very good. However, you know, they, give, they provide you with two type of um, antennas, a dipolar just like this and a SMA. So you can either ch replace this with an SMA and just stick it through there. However, I like to stick to this now because um, I break a lot of antennas and, I, and this is perfect for me. But the wire is pretty long. So as you can see here, I just took it down here and I zipped, I put a zip tie here. So this won't get in the way of the propellers, neither this and so it won't get cut off because I don't want to, uh, I don't want this to get cut off because I really like it. So something to take note of. Another thing I would have done differently um, is actually, also made this a bit shorter but that's totally fine there's no noise in the feed which is super good that's super great um and that's really it about the specs other than it's a true x and it's pretty light it's around 179 grams like this right now so it's, it has a lot of potential now let's talk about the flight characteristics and its overall performance um from watching people's reviews i was expecting more um, I think that's the right way to say it. I was expecting more, actually. Um, basically, it's just like a kind of light quad with some Razor Star 2205S motors. That's how it feels. Uh, they give you bigger props to give you that push. But let me, like, let me, okay, when you give it full throttle, it doesn't just blast off. It's like a slow slingshot. That's, that's how it is. The low end thrust is not there because usually i would fly and then when i turn around i just punch it once and basically i get the quad to stop in midair you know like on an emax 2205s motor and all those kinds of motors i'm not talking about 2306 i'm talking about some just normal 2205 dys fire blah 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 those ones uh this cannot do that you have to push that throttle in a little bit longer and then have it stop um so that's from that pers the perspective of power it's, it's not fully there um but you know you could still totally enjoy it i mean if you if you're new uh you're not gonna notice the difference you're just gonna you're gonna have fun with it i mean it's very good however i don't see it's a beginner quad now i don't say it's a beginner quad and beginner quad does not relate to performance in my opinion beginner quad relates to ease of 
uh, fixing. So if it's easy to fix because you're new, you're a beginner. Uh, so that's one important thing. For another important thing, if the parts are always available. So that's another thing. So basically, it's a it's about your budget more than your more than the performance of the quad about the availability of parts as well as your budget so let's just say you you're a rich guy you can get the diatone you can buy a million motors for it super awesome go get the diatone get what your heart tells you to get um but just be sure you're going to be able to fix it and be able to find the parts because let's just say this one's 170 dollars perfect awesome you go crash you're going to break a motor you broke the motor you go to gearbest they don't have this motor so you're going to have to get four new motors of any different kind and to get it going. So that is something you want to take note of as a beginner, in my opinion. I could be wrong. Some other people have different opinions. But this is the way I go about doing my, my things, my, my way of doing. Um, overall, it performed good. I would give it like a 7 out of 10. Um, just because, you know, I've built that $150 quad, a bit $250 quads basically, and I'm building another one right now. I don't know if this video will be out before it or not, but, the, you know, the, the, the it'll fly a lot better. You know, just, um, or even just replace the motors, this will be good. It does have a lot of potential, a lot of potential. So maybe you can grab something like, let me see what I have next to me here. All right, so, you know, two things I would have done if, if let's just say I am, I just have a bunch of money and this is my quadcopter and I bought it because, you know, people saying it's a good beginner quad. Okay, you've flown it, you put maybe 30 packs now, you basically, you, you're, that's it, you're, you, you need something more, you need a little extra push. So you can go grab yourself some of these right here. And this is like, what what is this? This is the DYS Mars, it's 2306 motor, it's pretty sweet, it's pretty fat, pretty heavy. So this will be very good for you, as well as the motor wires are long enough so you don't have to do any extensions. That would be a sick upgrade on this guy, for example. And that's what I'm probably going to do. And here, what else is this? This is the Brother Hobby R5 motor. This would be just absolutely insane on this guy. Because of his weight, uh, it's just going to be good. And check this out. The motor wires are long enough to do exactly what they did here. So this is perfect, and it'll give it a little nice color. So, yeah. Uh, that's something I would do to this guy. Um, obviously, if you do have the cash. Because I actually was looking for these motors, and I could not find them anywhere. So that's something very, very important to take note of. Um, in, it, it's, it's very important to take note of that perspective right here. Another thing I would do is change the camera. I would definitely change the camera. Um, and that's that's really it. I mean, it flies good. It's not bad. Um, but like I told you, it's like a we'll give it a seven out of ten. But the parts, the part availability, I still have not found it. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe you can see them on Banggood or Gearbest. But the other day I searched for them on Gearbest. I couldn't even find these motors. They're called the F-Love Fly motors. So that's very important to take note of. And, oh yeah, I noticed another thing. Um, the other versions, older versions that I've been watching online, they do tend to have the buzzer sticking out, but this is pre-built inside, and you do have an SD card expansion here. However, just secure this SD card expansion, because in the crash you can have it eject out, and then it's gone. So uh, just take that into consideration and overall it's pretty clean it's very nice um I, I don't i didn't see any issues with it except the camera was bugging me um the the performance is there you could totally enjoy it but i just i had higher expectations maybe uh, that's the word to say and for 170 bucks it's good because it's just pre-built and it works so that's that's very good you know all you have to do is just get your receiver and your goggles and you're good to go um and that's all I can really say, guys. Um, to end, it's your decision. And I'm going to leave you guys with some flight footage of this guy. And that's going to include it for this video, guys. I really hope you found it useful. And if you guys hope you guys liked it. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.